Hello and welcome to becomingachef.co.uk. My name is Chris Splatt and this is my short presentation on chopping boards that chefs use. So I've been getting quite a few questions on my website about um, asking to explain about the chopping board colour system within a kitchen. So first of all, why do we use colour coding chopping boards? Primarily, most importantly, this is to prevent cross-contamination. So this is where you could be chopping a raw chicken that may hold some bacteria, and you don't want that bacteria to spread to, say, a vegetable or some salad that is not going to be cooked. Because that bacteria will be cooked during the cooking process of the chicken, but if it's spread onto the salad that is not going to be cooked, then it will still be there. And if that's ingested, taken in, that can be a really bad problem and cause serious food poisoning to somebody. So the blue chopping board. This is used for raw fish. This includes any raw fish and shellfish. So that's the blue chopping board, raw fish. The red chopping board. This is for any raw meat. So this will include all raw meat, so like your beef, your lamb, and your chicken. One special note on this, which causes some confusion sometimes, always prepare bacon on a red board. Although bacon is cooked, now as it has already been smoked, it is not a ready-to-eat food. For this reason, it should be prepared on a red board. And any other foods that may have been smoked or cooked, but they are not ready to eat, should be prepared on a red chopping board. This is a very important point. A yellow chopping board. This is the chopping board we use for cooked meats. Cooked meats include any meat that has been cooked, including ham and cooked chicken. So that's a yellow chopping board, cooked meats. The green chopping board. The green chopping board is used for salads and fruits. So this includes lettuce, cucumbers and apples or any other salad or fruit. This is the green chopping board, salads and fruit. The white chopping board. The white chopping board is used for the bakery and dairy products. So this could include cheese and bread. So this is the white chopping board, bakery and dairy products. The brown chopping board. So the brown chopping board is used for vegetables. Vegetables include carrots, parsnips and any other root vegetables out there also includes potatoes. So this is the brown chopping board, vegetables. The purple chopping board. So this is a new chopping board that is started to be implemented within kitchens. It is not very common at the moment but it's becoming more and more common in kitchens and it is used for the chopping or the preparation of nuts. So any chopping of nuts should be done separately this will prevent cross-contamination of allergies to nuts. This is the purple chopping board for nuts. So this is the um, colour-coded chopping system that we use in kitchens, in professional kitchens. Now, it is not a law to use this system. However, it is implemented so that if, say, a chef is working in one kitchen and he is using this system, if he moves jobs and he goes to another kitchen, that same chopping board system is used. You know, so you don't want to go into one kitchen who is using the red chopping board for raw chicken, and then you go into another kitchen and they're using the red chopping board for salad. Now this is going to get confusing for the chef. So this is why we implement the chopping board system. I hope you know, that clears the air a bit more about the chopping boards that we use. Thank you very much for listening to this short presentation. My name is Chris Blatt. You can see me at becomingachef.co.uk and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and give me a thumbs up. Any comments, leave them below. Thank you very much.